Welcome back and what is going on today YouTube. I hope everybody's having a good day. Today is Friday. Uh, I finished just doing a bunch of work. Uh, well, not really work, but driving. I drove about over 400 miles uh, from 4 or 5.30 this morning up until now. I just got back. Uh, I went up to talk to a FAA advisor. For, for those of you that don't know, I'm in the military and I work on helicopters. Uh, I've been doing this for about six years now. And I went and talked to an FAA, which is pretty much a civilian uh, flight advisor for civilian maintainers and whatnot. The FAA is pretty much the people in charge of the airlines and the way we conduct maintenance on aircrafts in the civilian side of the world. Uh, I'm trying to get a certification, my AMP, uh, Airframes Power Plant certification, so that way if I ever transition back into the civilian world, I'll have good backing and good documentation saying that I'm a qualified mechanic. So I just finished doing that, so I'm happy. I had an interview with them. They signed off my paperwork so I can go take my test and attend classes. So good day, good day. I hope everybody else had a good Friday also. The reason why I'm bringing you this video is because this is going to be a five things I do not personally myself for my truck like about my truck okay uh, this is my truck not everybody should think this everybody think no it's not like that this is a personal like five things I do not like about my truck from the moment I bought it and some of it I changed some of it I haven't most of it I haven't um, but yes nonetheless so we're gonna kick it off and I'm going to talk to you guys and let you know know what's up let me know what you think also real quick before I even start the video or get into the video I want to thank everybody who's been watching the videos and who's been subscribing to the channel and also been subscribing and following on the Instagram channel I'm getting huge feedback on Instagram and I really appreciate you guys doing that um, also don't be afraid to comment ask questions and whatnot because I do respond to every single comment okay so if you you know if you got a question or something don't be afraid to ask because I will respond to it with the best answer I have and if I don't know I can at least tell you who to ask or who to call for that uh, I'm not no guru but I have a lot of re a lot of knowledge uh, when it comes to the comments all right so I appreciate all you guys uh, let's keep going let's keep doing it first goal 100 subscribers second goal a thousand well small goals first so first goal hunt second 500 third a thousand we get the 100 subscribers i'm doing a giveaway 25 dollar gift card don't know what gift card yet it's going to be for amazon industrial injection who knows uh get to 500 bump it up to 50 dollars get to 100 subscribers it's going to be a 100 dollar gift card giveaway so you, you want to subscribe uh it's going to be a random selection based off subscribers or it might be based off of people who comment on the video so it just depends all right so nonetheless Thank you guys so much for following along and supporting the channel. I really, really appreciate it, okay? You guys don't understand so much. Thank you very much. And keep sharing these videos. Tell your buddies, tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your dad, because they're going to enjoy it, okay? So, I'm going to stop bumping my gums about that, and we're going to go ahead and kick off this five things I do not personally like about my Cummins, okay? So, coming in at number one is my tow mirrors. When I got this truck, these tow mirrors, I don't know, pretty sure they're original, but they're busted. Um, you can see here, it did something here and used like putty and covered it up. I can't stand it. it I mean, it, it's so cheesy that when they covered it up, their fingerprints got caught in it. And you can still see the person's fingerprint, whoever did that. Uh, they shake a crap ton. I don't know if that's just from all of the tow mirrors on Cummins do that or if it's just mine, but I do not like my tow mirrors personally. I can't stand them. They rattle, they shake, they don't even hold the position and the motor in them doesn't even move properly. The only thing they do that I do like is they, they get heated because sometimes in the morning there's heat or frost on it. Okay, so that's number one. Number well, Now this is not an, an order of you know least to worst. This is just five. Okay, so number one is going to be my tow mirrors. Same thing for this side. It's just one of those things where it's like not a big fan of it. Um, I do want to do color match mirrors to the body, uh, not plastic dip, like color, true color match. I mean, it's going to have the gloss and stuff, so I'm not big on the flat because I think it looks cheap and cheesy, okay? So coming in at number two is going to be the bed. So when I bought this truck, it came in with a plastic bed liner, and I did not really like that. The um, reason being is because I'm a Linux type of guy. Now, I'm not going to Linux my bed of my truck. Uh, I'm actually going to do Raptor Line but I think this is just cheap. It's cheap and cheesy, and I think it's a way to cover up imperfections in the bed. Uh, granted, this bed does not have any imperfections like that. I still, I don't like this. Um, I've never been a fan of these. So these are so old school. Like this is how it used to be back in like early 2000s and before, but technology and new things have came out and it's way better now than that. So number two is gonna be the bed liner. Not a huge fan of it. 
All right. Coming in at number three is going to be my interior. Now, I did not buy this truck because of interior comfort, interior features. It's a very bland interior. It's all gray. It's so neutral. Uh, dashboard is gray. Steering wheel, everything is gray. Uh, when they did the fourth gen, they did a really good job in revamping and making this look more presentable. Um, you look at the door panels. They look real cheap and cheesy, you know, it's just cheap, cruddy plastic. Uh, but like I said, when I bought the truck, I didn't buy it for looks. I didn't, well, outside, yes, but I didn't really care too much about the interior. Um, it is what it is. I, I'm just, you know, whatever to it. I'm just showing you guys the back seat too. It's dirty right now on the inside and outside, so I apologize for that. Uh, Although the back side is really good. I had four, two of my buddies back here earlier and they had a ton of room to actually fell asleep for the whole ride. So that's pretty cool. Okay. So coming in at number, what are we at? Oh yeah, number four is gonna be my suspension. Now this is a extremely ride rough and ride rough riding truck. Um it rides rough. I put these MTs on there, the federal garages, 33 by 12 and a half because the tires I had when I bought the truck, they were shot. And look how they're wearing. I don't know if you guys can tell, but they it, it's, it's not wearing evenly. I mean, these these treads, these ones here are, are wearing down, but then every other one is not. Um, I don't know what, what's causing that. I changed out all of the underneath the suspension components, all the steering components I did. Uh, new ball joints. I know you can't tell now. It's, it's, I did this last summer. I did new tie rods, new ball joints, uh, everything. You know, I even put a new steering stabilizer on it. Granted, it's a rough country, so it's kind of cheap. Um, they didn't have a Bilstein one when I was looking at the time. So, yeah, that number four, man, it, it's the suspension. And, it, and it's not all, I know all trucks have a rough ride. It's not going to be a Cadillac, but my truck rides a lot rougher than the average truck should. Um, I don't know I don't know why it does that but I'm gonna get down to it uh, I've narrowed it down to two things either the gear the gearbox is gonna be out the steering box is almost going out or it's the, the rod the shaft the steering shaft um, when I one day I was done me greasing my joints and I grabbed the shaft just to check and there was a ton of play in it so I'm looking into a Borgson a Borgson uh, steering shaft i think they're like 220 or 120 i don't remember but i'm looking into that because apparently that takes out a ton of the slack also i'm looking for is i'm going to be looking is a steering stabilizer bar that mounts up to the pitman arm with the baron those are like 99 bucks so i'm going to be doing that to try and see if that can better but yes the ride quality uh number four definitely i that personally is my least favorite thing about this truck it's really rough um i know a lot of it has to do with the tires and then a lot of it has to do with you know i got blocks in the front oversized tires 20 inch tires so it's gonna it's gonna change the ride from how it rode stock um it has bilstein 5100 shocks on it but those shocks are shot so it's time to get some new shocks i really would love to put uh fox 2.0 uh on it but they're just out of my price budget for right now so it is what it is you know what i'm saying but coming in at number one is going to be Yes, that's right. Now you see the camera on the engine, but that does not mean it's number one. Okay, what's really going to be number one is what's underneath here. Give you a hint. These lines, these fuel lines, connect to them. Okay. Now this is not just my Cummings. I know I said it's my personal Cummings, but for my top five things, but this one is definitely annoying to me. So number one is going to be the injectors. Uh, Hear me out before you say I'm crazy. Hear me out before all sorts of stuff, okay? If you wanted to do cool mods to your truck, if you wanted to do back in the day, you wanted to do oversized injectors, 150, 170, 200 horse injectors, right? It was as simple as just popping, popping off the valve cover, undoing the valve train, take off your, uh, take off your, take off the bracket for your injectors, and swap the injectors, put them in, prime it, you're good. Well, when the six seven came around, they did, they did it to where each injector is programmed to each cylinder so if I wanted to swap out all my injectors and put oversized injectors on it I would have to get a programmer to program each injector to the cylinder and then go from there which can be more than what an average person is willing to spend um, one trick that I found to it though is that you can do uh, injector tips 
if you keep the injector but swap the tips out, tips out, you should be okay. Now, have I personally tried this? No, but I talked to a um, diesel mechanic and I was like, well, what if that happens? And he's like, I don't see no reason why you need to reprogram because it's still the same injector getting hooked back into it. It's just the tip got swapped. So I was like, hmm. So that might be one way around having to swap all the injectors out and pay to get the injectors reprogrammed unless you have the software, then lucky you. But for everybody else that's normal, we don't have the software. So it is what it is. Uh, that is definitely my number one most hated thing because it's bad enough that oversized injectors for the six sevens are a set of a good set that can be anywhere from fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred, even three thousand dollars. So and then on top of that to pay to get them programmed. So I think that's really that's just horrible. Um I personally feel like that was a strategy uh Dodge between Dodge and Cummins, or sorry, Ram and Cummins now. They did and there's no need for that. Absolutely no need. There's no I don't see any value benefit in programming an, an injector to one single cylinder. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about that, how you feel about that. Um I will be releasing five things I love about my truck after this because there's no sense in bagging on this video and talking about my truck to make you guys think I hate it because it's it's completely, completely far from that point. Okay? So I just want you guys to enjoy that or enjoy this and enjoy what I had to say about this video. Alright guys, so that was my video that was going to be for five things that I do not personally like about my Cummins, my 6.7 Cummins more specific. Um, that's just the way I am about it. Uh, you guys to each his own, you guys have your opinions, I have mine. Hey, honestly, uh, you can feel a certain way about it. It is what it is. You're, you're probably wondering why are you complaining about your truck if you own it, like you, you bought it. But it's just something I don't like. Now, at the same time, when I said, I said it before, but I love my truck. I love my truck to death. My truck is a good truck. Uh, you know, it's not too many trucks. You can, you can go down the highway doing 100 miles an hour and not blow a head stud, especially in a diesel. But my truck can because it's Cummins. So if you don't want to come in, get on the train. Um, like I said, I've had a 6 0 power stroke before. Uh, that was a complete nightmare. Granted, the truck had a few features I liked about it, but it did not outweigh a coming. So this is the truck. Um, I love my baby. She takes care of me and I take care of her. Uh, we got a mod coming up this weekend. I'm actually about to get it prepped. I'm going to, I got some painting to do on that intake manifold. And then that video should be coming out tomorrow night, if not Sunday morning, the latest, because it's going to be a little bit of work taking off the, uh, in the, the fuel rail. I have to take the fuel rail off to be able to take off the old grid heater because I'm going to grid heater delete along with the intake manifold. So let me know how y'all feel about that. Um, but definitely. So let me know how you feel about the video, how the channel, what do you think about the channel so far? Uh, if you want to see the channel go to a certain direction, let me know if you want to see certain types of videos. I would, I would have no problem doing special request videos. Uh, if somebody wants to see something and it's within my means, meaning I can do it and it's feasible for me to do it, I will do it. Uh, so drop it in the comment box ask questions message me on uh instagram i respond to all my messages all my comments on youtube so don't be afraid to ask so whatever you want to see just hit it up and let me know what's up okay uh but once again i'm gonna say it again thank you so much for watching these videos thank you so much for subscribing to the channel and following me on instagram keep doing it uh keep liking the videos the likes is what's gonna help get this channel growing. sorry about that my camera cut out so like i was saying it's a brand new channel on youtube um it doesn't even have 10 subscribers yet youtube's new algorithm is so crazy and the way they expect you to grow, like I honestly feel like my videos when I upload them, I feel like the two things. One, like they don't go outside of my channel, you know what I'm saying? Like they don't pop up in recommendations for new videos, for new channels. All they show are the recommendations for the dudes that are already doing good. They already have 100,000 subscribers. They always get videos and likes and stuff. Like I feel like the way YouTube's new algorithm and their new policy came out, I feel like that's it's pretty much limiting new YouTubers, new artists that are trying to come up and get successful like the people that are already doing good, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of channels I follow on YouTube where I remember when they started out with less than a thousand subscribers, now they're up to almost a hundred thousand and they had their shot. I feel like the new the new people like us, we need to be able to have that shot too. If YouTube wants more likes to be able to put the videos up up there, then that's I guess that's what we have to do because they're they're not gonna listen to one sole person. So please the video thumbs up, the likes and the comments, all that stuff gets computed into how the channel gets affected. Um the more subscribers we get, the more I'm gonna be able to contribute to the channel, provide you guys with better filming uh content, better quality, good parts on the truck. Um right now all this stuff is coming out of my pocket i make no money off of youtube you google does not pay me nothing to make these videos i'm doing this all out of pure entertainment uh now yes i do love doing this out of fun but at the same time if i can get help 
with doing these videos and be able to bring this content to you guys that's just gonna make the channel more exciting because then more content is gonna be coming at a faster rate because I have the support coming in from YouTube from the earnings I don't even make ad money off, off these videos so please share the videos share the channel get it spread the word um, I've been spreading it a ton I got people always ask saying they like my videos and they think it's cool so I really appreciate everybody that's been commenting and participating in the channel you guys mean a lot to me and I'm grateful for it thank you very much uh, I'm done talking for today uh, but once again you guys have a good weekend Super Bowl weekend I'm gonna watch the Super Bowl Sunday I'm hosting a little get-together from some people at my job uh, yeah having that and then that's pretty much it so nonetheless thank you for watching like uh, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this video stay safe god bless peace out